probability is the mathematics of chance and to find probability is to try to find about something we have no idea about a formal definition could be written as probability the mathematics of chance this is expressed as a numeric value what we try to do here we express something that is random we have no idea what that is and we try to give it a numeric value so that we are able to understand it better it is usually usually expressed as a percent percent means out of hundred per means by cent means hundred expressed as a percentage it is easier to understand a number in percentage when we want to find the probability the definition can be written as probability of an event is the number of times the event can occur and the total number of outcomes that are possible so when we write this number of times a particular outcome which we call an event can occur occur divided by the total number of possible outcomes they have to be equally likely possible outcomes an example would be if there is a die throwing and we want to know there's a dice game and we want to know what is the probability of getting a particular number so if this is a dice so we have a one here we have a two here one two three here and we want to know what happens if you want to get a two first of all let's see what is the total number of possible outcomes we can get a one we can get a 2, we can get a 3, we can get a 4, we can get a 5 or we can get a 6. So probability of getting a 2 would be the total number of outcomes is 6 and we want a 2. There is exactly one of these. The probability of getting a 2 is 1 over 6. As a matter of fact, the probability of getting a 3 is also 1 over 6. The probability of getting a 4 is also 1 over 6. As a matter of fact, the probability of getting any one of these is 1 over 6. If you want to find the probability of getting an even number, then we can see that not only 2, but 4 and 6. All these th three numbers are even numbers. An even number is a number that can be divided by 2 and we get an integer when we do that so there are three such numbers so 3 divided by 6 I will try to leave the number as they are so that it can be seen what was the original numbers of course we can cancel it out and write 1 by 2 but I'm going to leave it like this this means if this is done 6 times in one of the cases we are going to get a 2 this means if we do it uh, six times in three of the cases we would be getting an even number when we want to find the probability of something this is how we try to figure out what might happen if an event we have no idea about no way of predicting it uh, so we write a mathematical number now I said it is usually expressed as a percent because we don't intuitively have a clear idea of what a fraction is for that reason if we see a percentage it is easier for us to understand what is actually going on we might not know what 1 by 6 is but when we see this is about 17 percent 
it think we feel that 17% not that high not not a good chance this is 50% so this has more chance so the fact that we don't have a clear sense of fraction a clear intuitive sense of fraction we understand percentage is better for that reason it is uh, helpful if you just see what it looks in percentages a percentage is, is nothing but a number compared to 100 17 percent means 7 divided by 100 per cent divided by 100 now a little background when we talk about probability there is actually two types of probability concept one is called the frequentist concept frequentist probability and the other is the Bayesian probability Bayesian probability is a probability of belief what do you feel is correct what do you believe is correct that's not when that's not what we are doing now when we say probability we are always talking about the frequentist probability this is a bit higher sense of probability and it is used for other purposes of course important purposes but whenever we are talking about basic school probability the concept of probability we are talking about the frequentist probability in the frequentist probability we need to actually do an activity to figure out what the probability is it is not about what you feel is right because what you feel is right might be wrong so in frequentist probability the one that we are doing is you have to collect the data and find out what the probability is in order to do that you need to have a sense of what is it that we do not know what we do not know something that we call random if something is random we do not know what it is so probability is about uncertainty if we know it then it is not probability that is certainty that is determinism we already know that random if something is random what does it mean if something is random you might feel that you know what random is but random is something that what nature does if you flip a coin you might feel uh, okay I can make up something suppose uh, I tell you write down something if you feel if coin is tossed ten times write down what would the outcome be and you write something like this you write head tail head tail you feel you're just making up random what could be random what you think is random head tail head tail or head or tail or tail or head or something like you just make it up but in reality if actually someone tosses the coin and they write it down and if you see that and another person just makes it up in their head and just write it down can you know the difference by looking at the two pieces of paper the one where someone just wrote it down what they felt like it what they feel is random and another person actually tossed the coin and wrote down the outcome would you be able to figure that out well you'll be surprised what random that happens in nature is compared to what we feel is random because this often happens head 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 then a tail then a tail or a head this can happen when someone is asked to write it out by themselves as what they feel is random they usually do not write more than two heads or two tails because they feel no that will not be random but in reality this often happens that there are many many heads one following following the other so what you think is random uh, might be completely different of what actually is random another example could be if someone is asked to just put dots on a paper randomly what they feel is random and they might just give the dots like this uh, they feel this is random but in reality if you just see a computer to do it randomly where the computer does not think what random is they just do it randomly in that case you'll be surprised most of the cases random dots are like this that's a random dot but when people are asked to do that they actually just 
spread it out evenly and they feel what that random is so what you feel is random or what you feel or what you believe something to be might not be what is actually happening so you have to understand in frequentist probability we have to collect data and we have to do it mathematically we have to give a number to that probability